Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com and it's here, Adobe Audition CC 2018, available to download from the Adobe Creative Cloud right now. Let's take a first look and have a tutorial of some of the best features that are out now and a review on how you'll find these features in your workflow. So starting out with the Adobe Audition Multitrack, uh, which is fantastic improvements to mix down and bounce times, always a good thing. Let's call this session 2018 using my Music Radio Creative presets. Uh, and there they all are. They work. They load in Adobe Audition CC 2018. If you'd like to grab them, by the way, mrc.fm slash presets. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you that is absolutely brilliant is automatic ducking of music with voice. So if your voice is saying something, uh, the music will duck in the background automatically. Previously, we've had to set up side chains, complex side chains, and uh, it's been a lot of work. So let me drag in some music over here onto a music track. Here it is, auto playing now, and I can then play it again in the multi-track. There is my music track. And then I want to assign first and foremost this as a music track over in Essential Sound and enable ducking. Those are the first steps I take. Now I need to drag in uh, some audio, so it'd be helpful uh, to go over uh, and drag in uh, maybe a couple of uh, DJ idents that I've got. So let's pop them in now on a couple of voice tracks here. There they are. Okay, and I'll show you how this works in reality uh, with this DJ drop right here. Uh, so placing it now onto the music uh, right there. Let's move these tracks together and really zoom in so we can see exactly what's going on. So those music tracks are both together now and you'll hear them in sync now if I play this back. DJ Dr. T. Okay, pretty cool there. DJ Dr. T over a bit of music. But what if we could just ever so slightly duck that music when the vocals are speaking. Well, first I'm going to select the vocals here and uh, assign it dialogue. So now this is a dialogue and you see automatically kicking in here a dotted kind of pink line on the music track. It is immediately calculating the auto ducking. And if I move this along, you'll see the pink line moves along to the new place like that. You can't fool it. It is following wherever you move that dialogue track. And that is because in the ducking settings, I've said duck against dialogue only. You can also duck against music, sound effects, uh, ambience clips, and just anything that's unassigned as well. As you can see, this duck is quite, um, well, not very sensitive, really. It's uh, fading quite early uh, before the music kicks in. We can change this by changing the fade time. And if I was doing maybe an explainer video or something like that, I might have a long fade time. Um, but for imaging or DJ sessions, I'd make that fade really small, as you can see there. Let's have a listen to it. DJ Dr. T. You can hear that's rather large fade that's going on there. Obviously, it demonstrates the power of this auto ducking, uh, but we can make that less at the current moment it's 18 decibels that it's reducing so I'll make that maybe uh, let's see three decibels so let's have a listen now DJ Dr. T perfect enough to duck the music so you can really hear the vocal uh, but not too much that it's noticeable oh the music has faded there uh, and the sensitivity is a good thing too if I turn the sensitivity down to low uh, you'll see suddenly it's not duck ducking so much or at all turn it up and you suddenly see that it is really ducking whenever it hears any audio so you will just want to fine-tune that so you get the right amount of ducking uh, for the speech that you're trying to uh, get to go over the top of your music so that is the first really really cool new new feature of Adobe Audition CC 2018. But I'm also excited to uh, announce that it is possible now not just to do a fade like that at the start and a fade like that at the end of your track, um, but say you want to do symmetrical fades, you can now do it uh, by holding down the Alt or Option key, depending on whether you're a Mac or PC, and you'll get symmetrical fades like this coming in, look really, really good in Adobe Audition CC 2018. Uh, there are also other buttons you can use. So the Shift button will hold the fade in place, uh, but change the kind of volume like that. Or you can hold down Command, and you can get the fade looking exactly the same, uh, but just move it along in time. Uh, so plenty of stuff to do, and Command and Alt will then do that to both sides, or Shift, and you can do that to both sides. It really is uh, quite charming indeed. Now, obviously you could use that on all your dialogue tracks, but also I will find this particularly handy if I do something like a stutter edit. And let's just uh, uh, demonstrate to you how that would work. So maybe I'll take uh, the D of DJ Dr. T here and post it in there. D DJ. 
Okay, and I want to do some stuttering. Uh, now, before, I would have had to have done a fade like that and a fade like that. And now my workflow is just quicker because I hold down Alt or Option and boom. You've got your fade in like that, really easy. And then uh, we do Alt and Move, Alt and Move, like that, uh, to duplicate up, and we get something like this. D -D 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 uh, obviously, we can uh, realign that uh, like that. Another, another Alt and Move that would sound probably even better. D -D 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 DJ Dr. T. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. I want to get onto the dynamics processing as the next effect to show you in this uh, Adobe Audition CC 2018 uh, tutorial. And this is brilliant. If you're an old Premiere Pro user, you might well recognize it, uh, but it has been redesigned from the ground up uh, for Adobe Audition CC 2018. And also, it's now available in Premiere Pro 2. Uh, so I've got the scientific filter on. Uh, go into amplitude and compression, either in the effects rack or, of course, your effects menu up here. And and pick out the dynamics effect here. Beautiful new uh, dynamics processor here. Particularly if you've worked in radio or anywhere that has a uh, dynamics or compressor strip, this looks exactly like one. Looks like my DBX286S. I'm so thrilled to be able to use something like this. So what has it got? For the first time, auto gating. Yes, that's right. No more setting up complex downward expanders or noise gates in dynamics processing. You can do it right here, an auto gate. Let me show you how it works. Solo the voice. D -D 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 -J, Dr. T. Now you can see the threshold is rather harsh, so it's working overtime there. Let's pull that threshold up. D -D 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 -J, Dr. And even more, when it's red, it's closed. Yellow, it's kind of in the holds phase between the attack and release times you set, and green, it's open. So let's pull the threshold down. D -D 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 -J, Dr. T. Probably afford to bring that down a bit more. D -D 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 -J, Dr. T. Oh, a bit more, I think, because it's tailing off at the end. D -D 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 -J, Dr. T. Probably get around that by uh, increasing the release time. D -D 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 -J, Dr. T. Rather nicely set noise gate, much easier to do, uh, much more straightforward auto gating in the dynamics uh, effect from Adobe Auditions. Brilliant. A compressor is brilliant, very, very simple. Only the controls you would expect on a compressor, like threshold. D -D 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 -D. Let's bring that down so we can kick it in. D -D -D -D. Bit more. D -D 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 -J. DJ Dr. T. <laughs> I was just thinking, why is that not working? And uh, the next thing, of course, is you need to turn the ratio up. Let's do three to one compression. DJ Dr. T. You see it kicking in there and compressing. DJ Dr. T. So what does that look like in real life? Well, if I select all of these clips now and I go into multi-track bounce town, uh, now 400% faster in the uh, newest edition. Selected clips only. We'll get a new track here. And we, yeah, we should have used some makeup uh, to make it louder. But let me go over here, uh, normalize this, and then we can compare. And you can see how that compression really does look very good compared to the original file there in that bounce. I'm just going to mute that so we don't use it. That's just for demonstration purposes. Uh, we've also got an expander here, which you can use uh, to expand the quiet sounds, if you like, and a limiter, which works rather like a hard limiter. I'll show you this in the, the preview window here. Again, accessing this in effects, amplitude and compression, and the dynamics effect here. Uh, if we have this on uh, with a minus 25 dB-ish threshold, a ratio of 3 to 1 here, that's going to look nicely uh, compressed. Uh, maybe we can get away with turning that threshold down a bit more, compressing it further. It would help if I switched the compressor on, of course. And there you go, and turn the makeup up. There we go. So now you can really see that's nicely compressed. Switch off the compressor and use the limiter here. And uh, you've suddenly got, see, that's being hard limited uh, at the minus 20 dB threshold right now. Uh, so we can turn that up a bit and only hard limit at certain areas. Really is good for cutting down spikes and things like that from waveforms, as you can see there. So dynamics. And the final thing I wanted to show you in this tutorial, because uh, we're running up at nearly 10 minutes now, but there's a lot to get through. And there'll be more videos, by the way, on my channel. So make sure to subscribe. I'll be covering everything in Adobe Audition CC 2018 in detail in the future. Uh, this is the fact that uh, wave files now stay on top of each other, even if you move them over them. Look at this. I'll try and show you rather than describe it. Uh, look at this. 
before, if we click over there, we'd lose that wave. Not anymore. It's always on top, which is fantastic, meaning you never lose audio files uh, behind another bigger wave file. See, they're always on top. Even though they're not selected, they remain there, and you can still move them around. You can do 100% uh, crossfades uh, with the wave behind it. Really, really cool stuff. Um, and if we don't want to see that waveform anymore, so we don't want to see that little clip anymore, we can actually do right-click here, and uh, we can send it to the back. Uh, where is it? Yes, here we go. Uh, bring clip to front over there or send clip to back. Gone. Oh no, gone forever. Well, until we do that and we see it's still there. Uh, so you can do that or you can bring this clip to the front like so. Uh, and we can choose which clip. Oh, so many different options. There you go. Uh, and it's available. Uh, improvements to other things like ripple delete. That's another thing that's been really upgraded for CC 2018. But I'll hold off showing you that. I'll save that for another video. I hope this has given you a great overview of Adobe Audition CC 2018. Do remember to comment below and let me know about your favorite new features. And if you have any questions about the latest version of Adobe Audition CC 2018.